All right, this is gonna be a little bit longer video, but I want to cover the electronics all around the trailer. <clears throat> they're similar, but they're also unique to how we like things. Two Group 31 batteries, always been on a charger. They they hold the charge well. They they're great batteries. Um, a Xantrix Pro Watt 20, 2000 watt inverter, um, and then you got a Powermania Turbo 320 Shore Power battery charger so two batteries or 230 two batteries 30 amps per battery um over here is the xantrix shore power automatic switch so when the trailer is plugged into shore power uh the fridge is automatically switched over the battery charger will run and all your outlets on the trailer are shore power 120 volt um battery selector master battery on off switch um down here is a shore power battery charger circuit breaker, um, 10 amp and 20 amp here. Um, the fuses here, I try to minimize fuses, but you have your little blue C fuses for small stuff. There is a big fuse here for the inverter. When you do a high draw like that to Oxbox coffee maker that's in the trailer, um, I couldn't find a circuit breaker that would hold. Um, the, the wiring is plenty, but the circuit breaker is always the um, the constriction. So it's got a properly sized fuse and there's spares in here. Um, everything else is the little blue C uh, circuit breakers. Over here is a um, Victron 130, 100 volt, 30 amp solar charge controller for the 300 watt, 150 watt uh, Renogy flat solar panels on the roof of the tent. And then here is a Sunsaver MPPT controller for the uh, 50 watt panel on the back side of this lid and also for any remote panels you put out. So that's most of the, the tongue box. Everything's nicely labeled. Um, down here below, the only other change I made is I, I don't have a handbrake on the trailer, but there are times when I wanted to make sure it wouldn't roll away. So this just activates manually the trailer brake. So you've got your trailer brake here, the, the safety brake. This manually activates it. So now the brakes are locked up so the trailer won't roll as you're unhooking it. And then obviously it uses battery power so you can't leave it forever, but now they're unlocked. Um, over here on the nose box, you've got a few things. Things should look familiar. So this is a small Anderson plug setup. This is really for running uh, the lights in the shower tent, which would be sitting right here when it's set up. These are two pass-throughs that came with a trailer um, solar charge solar panel input like an sae plug this is a 120 volt for a extension cord should you want to run power somewhere else and then the next one here is the the no code genius plug for your shore power so you plug it in there and you're on shore power um wrapping around the trailer you'll notice that kind of all around the trailer you've got these um these lights here these are nice because they're amber and they're white and there's three stages per. And then this is the side where we typically would keep our gear and get changed. We're normally remote camping, so we'd change here. Maybe we'd change in the shower tent, which is just right here to our left. Um, inverter or shore power 120, again, automatically switches. You've got white lights, you've got amber lights, and they're all on a dimmer. So you can always dim it to your liking here. Um, 12 volt setup here uh, for your USBs and your 12 volt plugs. And then you've got a little blue C voltometer, although on the other side, you've got your uh, Victron battery management system, much more detail. Pro watt uh, inverter remote to turn it on or off. And then above that, you'll notice these little indicator lights. That's because the fresh water pump and the water heater, these are three-way switches. So they could be off over here and on on the other side and they'd still be on on the trailer. So when you flip on the fresh water, you hear the pump running now. You get an indicator light. When you turn on the water heater, you'll hear the propane valve open. That valve um, is just safety. I have the propane, you have the main valve on the tank and then everything flows in and has different electronic valves just to limit the propane flow throughout the trailer. So when that's activated, your hot water uh, heater, tankless water t heater over here has power and it also has propane because that valve just opened. Turn it off and the valve closes. Exterior lights, um, that is your lights here. 
heater and tent power. There's the SAE plug on the back. We used to have a tent that had an awning, an annex room over on this side. And so tent power was obviously, that tent didn't have power in it. Your uh, Bundu top already has full power, USBs, everything up top. It's got fans built into it. It's really nice. And then um, your heater, I was going to install a Propex heater uh, whenever we had the annex room on the side, but it took too long to set up. So we got rid of that and the heater never, uh, I never even hooked it up. Coming to the back back here, the only you got another light here. Um, and then these are lights that are pre-wired into the Alu Cab awning. So once you uh, open it and extend it, this wire right here plugs into an SAE port on the back of the trailer. And you've got power, here you've got your lights. Again, these are white or amber, they're really nice. And then the only thing I'll point out back here in the back is there is a propane plug right here. When this tailgate's open and your table's down, that plug is made for a Weber Mini grill to sit on the table and grill meats underneath the awning um, off of the propane valve. And that's separately valved in the kitchen box. So, Coming in here, let me just take a split second and lower this tripod here so we can see a little bit better. Um, and then I'll... There we go. Okay, so in the kitchen, um, your biggest draw is your aux box. This thing draws some amps, but the batteries in the system handle it. It is 120. Uh, behind this is a power strip. And it's hooked up to your pro watt, which again, you can turn off on either side. Um, above that are your two indicator lights because you've got your water heater and your water pump, just like the other side. Um, your lights are white or amber. And like before, they are dimmable. So you can make them brighter or darker for your liking, your environment. Exterior lights, we already talked about that. Flashlight chargers, you've got two Olight chargers here that have a magnetic base. So you always have flashlights charged and ready to go at camp as long as you, you know, keep them charged. I mean, I don't keep them on all the time, but when, when I need to, they're, they're on and they're charging. It's all built in. Uh, barbecue grill pro propane, that is for the grill that I showed you up back. And then your partner stove, that's the valve that opens the, the partner stove valve. Um, you have a, your uh, Sun Saver MPPT controller here remote panel and then up here is your victron bms unit so you can see it for our draw right now it says infinity i mean the batteries will last forever with the solar on the roof um there's enough solar i think combined like we're just under 600 watts of solar is that right on the trailer something like that um yeah and that is a walk around of the electronics of this turtleback